what's in my nursing bag hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for coming back for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Mercy I'm a BSN RN and on this channel I talk about nursing lifestyle beauty vlog health fitness motivation and sometimes makeup as well so if you're new to my channel I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so that every time I make a new video you'll get a notification so you'll never miss another video from me and for my return Turn viewers thank you so much for coming back a lot of you know that I work at a hospital but I also do home health nursing I have a lot more experience in home health nursing than I do at the hospital home health nursing is slightly different from hospital nursing and because of that your equipment for your hospital nursing is going to be slightly different from the ones for your home health nursing and so you don't need as much when you work at a hospital because the hospital provides almost every equipment that you need but for home health sometimes you have to bring your own equipment so for today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that's in my home health nursing bag all right guys I have my home health nursing bag here it's nothing fancy it's a really pretty leather bag it has some gold details around it it's really basic but this bag is important to me because it's a big bag it has a thing on the back here where I can just put my keys in I also chose a black bag because it hides a lot of dirt and I use this a lot and also because black goes with everything so now going into the bag the number one thing I have in my bag it's my clipboard I got this clipboard from I think it was a dollar store a Dollar Tree it doesn't have to be fancy it just needs to be a clipboard something you can write on so there's something called nurses note that is your narrative note everything you do with your patient your intervention your vitals and everything you put on that sheet of paper so what I do is I put it on my clipboard and it comes in handy because as I assess the patient or as I ask the patient questions I go ahead and write it I think I'm going to do a video about home health nursing I'm going to go into more details about what home health nursing looks like so I have my clipboard and my nurses note this is not going to go in any specific order I'm just going to reach in my bag and grab things as I go here I have a dermal wound cleanser most times with home health you do a lot of wound care bear in mind that most of the patients have their supplies if it's a patient whose vitals you have to take every time on your visit that patient most likely have their own vital equipment but I just personally like to have a lot of the stuff that I need just to make the visits go smoother. I have a big box of gloves in here. I am a medium. Sometimes your office will provide supplies at the patient's home, but there have been instances where I've gone to a patient's house and they're out of glove and whatever intervention I had to provide required gloves. It's very inconvenient because you have to then drive to the local store to get some gloves so I always just keep a box of gloves in my bag once again patients usually have their vital equipment but I always have something just in case so this is a blood pressure cuff it's a portable digital blood pressure cuff these are the ones you put on the patient's wrist and just press the button so I always have that just in case my patients don't have their supplies and with home health nursing whenever you do a visit you have to do the patient's whole vital signs so it's important to have a blood pressure cuff and then I have my stethoscope you always always need a stethoscope so for the purposes of this video I'm going to keep my stethoscope on I have a pulse ox machine portable one these are really important as well this I got from Amazon if I'm not mistaken it was only about ten dollars when I purchased it and it came with a protector and the cord but I lost my protector so I only have this and guys please if you're doing home health nursing I just want to say this because I feel like I'm going to forget towards the end of the video. When you're doing home health nursing, please, 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 please remember to clean your equipment between patients. And of course I have my ID. Whatever company you work for, they're going to want you to have an ID and make sure it says RN so they can know who you are, especially when you're doing home health nursing and doing visits. You see a lot of different patients. Sometimes those patients you've never seen before, sometimes you have seen them, but it's good to have an ID to show where you're from and who you are. Anyone who's a nurse knows the struggle when it comes to losing your pen. You can have 50 pens at the beginning of your shift, and by the time the shift is over, you don't even have one. Okay, so maybe I'm exaggerating, but pen is important. You always, always need your pen. 
and always go for black ink it has a whole bunch of pens in here pens pens and pences anyways i have a lot of pen so i always try to keep a lot of pen in here just so i don't run out of pen because you're always in the position to write something so i always keep a lot of pen i have a black marker in here sticky note in case i need to remind myself about something hand sanitizer i got this from bath and body works i also got the bag from bath and body works and before i forget too when you're doing a nursing visit, when you go into the patient's home, you want to wash your hands. Treat it just like the hospital, just like you have to wash in and wash out, meaning whenever you go into a patient's room, you have to wash your hands. When you come out, you have to wash your hands. Same thing, when you walk into a patient's house, you can either ask them to wash your hands at their sink or use your hand sanitizer to wash your hands. I have a thermometer. I can't find my other adult thermometer, but this is my pediatric thermometer. As I said again, most times patients have their equipment, but I just have all these things just for backup. So the home health patient I see a lot right now is a pediatric patient, so I have this pediatric thermometer. and. This is pretty simple to use. I got this off of Amazon as well. You literally just put it to the patient's forehead and it tells you what the patient's temperature is. Your body temperature is 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Just because you wash your hands so much as a nurse, you always need some form of moisturizer. Sometimes I use baby oil, but sometimes I also like to use um, this kind of lotion because it's scented. Some patients are sensitive to strong smell, so you never wanna go to your patient's house with strong perfume or like strong body lotion. Use that stuff when you get out of the patient's home. Notepad or notebook, just to take notes in case the patient tells me something that I need to remember, or if I need to write down vital signs to call the doctor about it, I have this little notebook that I can write things in. Because it's spring going to summertime, I always have a pair of glasses because I think I look cool. <laughs> the biggest item I have in my bag is my computer bag. I got this bag from Victoria's Secret. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a cute little computer bag. It's pink and black. A lot of the home health agencies now are switching to uh, computer charting like Access and um, I forget what the other one is, but just in case your company uses computer charting, you need a computer to chart at your patient's house or maybe go to the library or something to chart there when you're done with your visit. The last few things here, a water bottle, a pair of scissors in case I need to cut something, Tic Tac, you don't want to go to a patient's house with funky breath. I have some lip gloss, which I'm almost out, some band-aids, and of course my phone. You always need a phone because you might need to call someone, you might be in a dangerous situation, you might be in a bad neighborhood, or you might be with a patient and something emergency comes up. Always, always have your phone with you so you can make a call if you need to. Those are the things I have in my nursing bag. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting some stuff, but I'm going to do a video on the difference between home health nursing and hospital nursing. I can't think of anything else, and if I do, I'll put it in the next video. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And please, 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 please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. If you're a home health nurse, if you have different stuff in your bag, please let me know. And if you're going into home health and you want to know more about home health, please let me know in the comments down below. And I appreciate you guys for sending me these video requests because it gives me something to shoot. I want to know what you guys want to see, so I appreciate it. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one.